Um, we are experiencing a massive inventory shortage in our market right now. And so we now more than ever need this 27 contact system. We need to come out with ways to contact people. Okay. Um, so my little, uh, my little catch today is this to succeed in life. You need three things, a wishbone, a backbone and a funny bone. And that's a, a quote by Reba McIntyre. And I will, um, let you guys know something here. Uh, if we do not, um, if all we have is a wishbone and not a backbone and a funny bone, it's going to be really hard to come up with ways to contact people. Um, we have to contact as many people as possible more than ever now due to this pandemic. There's so many much misinformation out there. And so this is going to be a way to come up with an easy, easy system that everyone on the call and everyone who listens to this video, all the better realtors and all the better realtor students out there, this is going to be a way in order to come up with all sorts of authentic, amazing, better homes and gardens ways to contact your client. Okay. So another quote I wanted to show you is less wishbone, more backbone. It takes a huge backbone nowadays in order to, um, to, to uh, work with clients, okay? Um, it, it just, it does, it takes a huge backbone. I'm gonna stop this share just for a second and change something just to make sure we've got this right. Um, so can everyone still hear me? Someone go ahead and unmute yourself and let me know. I can hear you. Excellent. Thanks, Jen. Okay. So what's going on in today's world right now is we're getting more and more afraid to call people live. And, um, and, and that's the best way to, to work with people is live. Okay. You can text and say, Hey, can I call you? So we're going to go through these. Um, we always need to know why, why 27 contacts every year, because to be honest with you guys, 70% of people, um, pulled by NAR do not use the same realtor twice. And the reason being is they can't remember how to get a hold of them. So I've come up with 27 different ways. I've used a whole bunch of different resources. And so I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you those 27 ways. What I want you to do, there's a small group today. So if you want to interrupt me and ask a question or you have a suggestion, I would love to hear that. So when we talk about 27 ways, what are some of the ways that come up in your mind? Go ahead and jump in and, 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 and tell me. Is anybody there? What are some of the ways that you can think of to contact people, Jen? Well, personally, I have call reluctance and I, it's a battle I have to do every single day. So I try to find something relevant to the what's happening in the economy. And one line I really like to say is like, this is a business call. I wanted to talk to you. And then when I get done with the business, then I'll say, and then I'll ask about their family instead of trying to sneak that in the end. I don't know how you feel about that, but. I think that's an excellent way. I think being completely honest upfront is very, very important. Okay, so I think that that is an excellent way. Um, in the 27 contacts, there's passive contacts and there's, there's, there is um, active contacts and calling someone is an active contact. And the key is, is consistency. So I like to call clients every single day and in my case, I also do recruiting for the company. So I like to call recruits every single day. Consistency is key. Um, when you have a past client, consistency is key. And so I'm going to show you guys a, a little special trick we have. Here's my little list of 27 contacts right here. Okay. And one of the biggest bulks of my 27 contacts is 12 magazines. I send 12 magazines a month. Okay. 12 of them. Um, or 12 magazines a year to every client. I actually send 72 or 63 magazines a month and I'm on my way. The end of this month, I'll be, I'll be at 75. That's my goal. So the BHDRE magazines only cost $13 and 25 cents a year to mail. It is a system. Everything that I do has to be a system because I don't have any time to do more than that, if that makes sense. So for three to five minutes, 
once a year for each client or three to five minutes once a month if I want to change the, mag the magazine message, uh, I can send a wide variety of magazines. So for example, the magazines Better Homes and Gardens has 12 issues or Better Homes and Gardens magazine, Food and Wine, Parents magazine, Southern Living, and Travel and Leisure. I don't know any one of my clients that I've sold a home to in the last five years that wouldn't like one of those magazines. The people who like the Parents magazine maybe not be the same ones that like the Travel and Leisure. The Better Homes and Gardens magazine seems to appeal to most people, okay? But um, Southern Living may work here, may not. You may have some clients from the South and that's something you guys have in common is Southern food or something you like. Um, travel and Leisure. And then there's 10 issues a year in Martha Stewart, People in Espanol, Shape and Eating Well. So for our Spanish speaking clients, at the very worst, you can send them people. Better Homes and Gardens is working, 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 working toward getting us more. So let me show you how to order the Better Homes and Gardens magazine. You log on to Greenhouse. If you're a Better Homes and Gardens realtor, you can log right on to Greenhouse. If you're a student, you can't do that yet. So as soon as you get, save up your $13, $13, and as soon as you are licensed and you're with us, you can use this. Right under Agent Tools, um, can everybody see my share screen okay, by the way? Jen, can you share, see my screen, the greenhouse? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move forward. So we go on to Agent Tools and we go to Buy BHG, okay? And right under Buy BHG, just go right in and go, go buy BHG. This is where you can buy previous issues of the magazine and hand those out or deliver those to people. This is where you can go ahead and um, I'm sorry, it's making me re-log in to do this. All right, so right, we're right in by BHG. Here's the personalized magazines right here. So we click right on that. And if you notice right here, this is my picture, my contact information, my information. It says a gift from. You can even change the line in there if you want. And then it sends it to them and then there's a little message on it. If you kind of look right on my screen, it says, enjoy this gift description. Please call me if I can be of service to you your family and your friends. That's the standard message that they send, but you can actually change that. We're gonna do um, a little bit of an order right now, just to kind of show you what it looks like. So you just hit place an order. I've got some prepaid codes that I've already bought, okay? I had bought 18 of them and, um, and I've got two left. So you can go right on and you can decide what you want to send to whom. So I can put in their name, their phone number, all of their information, and then I can change right here, enjoy this gift subscription. It's very, very, very easy. Let me show you something else. Oh, I do have 75. So here's my 75 order history. I thought I got there, but I wasn't sure. So here's my order history. These are all the people I'm sending magazines to and what they say. Um, so for my friends, the Christmans, please call me if you need anything. Thank you for being so awesome. These guys are amazing donors and help people, and I send them the Travel and Leisure magazine, okay? They have people that are uh, in the, that they, they have all sorts of different realtors they use, and they use me for some of their nonprofit stuff. Um, so Grant, and I, I've, these are all the list when their magazines are going out, what's going on with their magazine, what kind of magazine, um, all of that. Um, this is my sister-in-law right here too. She loves travel. And so I just put love and travel. And then I, instead of this as a gift, I just say loving travel because both of us always say that to each other. Enjoy this gift subscription. So you can change what it says. Let me show you something else too. You can also set it up to be, um, once you order, you can, here's where you pick what kind of magazine you want. And you can also set it up to be a custom monthly right? And, um, and, and it'll change it to pick a warm sport to get inspired, flowers, hearts, and chocolates for Valentine's. It can be like a, a kind of an annual message, you know, a time of year message kind of thing. So you can even have your mass message changed automatically, or you can go in once a month and change your, your message, okay? So this is a great, great, great way to um, work with clients on 12 contacts a year for $13 and 20 something cents. Okay, it's an amazing way to go. So, all right, so we're gonna go back to our regular screen. All right, 
So the magazines is one of the best ways to contact people 12 times. Now remember, we have a 27 contact system, so gosh, that's only 12. What else do I do? What else can I do in order to, to contact people, right? So um, what if I don't have enough money to contact people? Here we go through the magazine for $13.25, what can I do? What I suggest is every time you have a closing that you turn around and you say, I'm gonna set aside $100 or $200 to go to my contact system. And um, I'm gonna do 10 people for the, for the $13 a month um, or $13 a subscription. Um, consistency is key, okay? So we're gonna go on to the next, the next ways. So we have the Better Homes and Gardens way. So then we have the contact, preferably a live conversation, phone calls, text, social media, don't substitute. Okay, so social media, phone calling and texting is free, as we all know. So if you're new to the business, this is the area that I'm telling you to start developing your, your ways. In my case, I have hundreds of clients and past clients. There's only 75 of them that I'm sending magazines to because those ones are my consistent fans that will give me people or their recent clients or their clients that have constantly given me referrals or their clients that I know that, you know, have bought from me in the last two years, that sort of thing. You've got to keep in contact with them. And so 27 contacts. Um, so right now we're on the contact, preferably live conversations. Okay. So in the live conversations, consistency is also key. Okay. You can't just call someone every once in a while. We don't have any, uh, any business. And so to me, when you have contacts, you're building relationships. So in social media, every time I have a client, I friend them on social media, and then I'll look for them on Instagram. So I can comment on their Instagram posts. If they're a Pinterest person, I'll look for them on Pinterest. Um, those are my three main social media platforms. Facebook is my massively main one. I'm one of those older grandma types. And so Facebook is really appeals to us. And a lot of my clients are older people and they use Facebook. So Facebook is, I always, when I have a minute waiting for an appointment to come and show up, or when I'm like at night, just sitting there scrolling through stuff, I will like, I will comment, like and comment. And if they comment back and we get into a conversation, then I go to Facebook Messenger, or if I have their, their actual phone number, I'll go to text, okay? But contacts, the best way to contact somebody is live. And like Jen was saying, it's hard to call people live. So she calls with, with different information that she has regarding, um, you know, regarding uh, the financial market. I contact based upon the real estate market. So I will contact them. And this is what I will say. I will say, hey, I'm calling you. And because I'm in real estate and real estate is going up really quickly right now, I want to help you. Um, I want to help you determine what's the best thing for you to do next with real estate. I know you only bought your house six months ago. I know you only bought your year home two years ago, but let me let you know what your home is worth. Okay, let me do a, a free analysis on your home. Um, I try to build relationships and trust with them, okay? I have two ears and one mouth, and so I try to talk less than they talk, okay? I always talk about what we had in common first. So if they came to me as a referral from a certain person, we bring up that person, we talk kindly about that person. Um, I will always want to build on the common. So if they've uh, commented on my kayaking, then I say to them, so are you thinking about kayaking? I'm always looking for people to go kayaking with. I always want to be helpful. So I'll say to them, do you need anything? Do you guys have enough face masks? Do you guys have enough hand sanitizers? I want to be helpful, all right? Live, phone, text, social media, mail, gift, live, phone. That's kind of like my little comment to you guys is everything should always be live if possible. Live, live, live. Talking live. If you're on social media and they comment on you, Facebook messaging live. Social media live. Live really what you do, what you live, who you are, how you live. All of it. Something in common is, is more important than anything. Okay, and we have something in common with every single person on this planet. We're all humans and we're all worried about COVID. So that's the best topic right now, to be honest with you. Um, the best topic of who you know, who you've known. I'm up to seven people I've known with COVID now, up to seven, and I live in a, in a low number of states still. 
So that's crazy, isn't it? Um, anyway, so, so build, build, build. Contact. Where do I start? How do I start? I suggest that you start using Zap and put every single person you know in the Zap platform. And then every time they pop up and every time they're on your, I suggest in building your website really, 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 really well. Okay. We have systems already in place with Better Homes and Gardens. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. You do not. So first way is magazines. Second way is contacting. Does anybody have any comments on ways to contact people? That's okay. It's kind of, everyone's kind of a little shy today. So another way to contact people is like I was talking about is the market updates, statistics and numbers. Okay, everyone has an analytical person inside them. So one of the things that we always forget is that the analytical person is, is in every single one of us. When I am buying headphones for my, my um, phone, AirPods or the, I'm analytical, I look at everything, right? Everyone has the analytical in them and everyone, if they already own a home, definitely wants to know how much it's worth. And so it's really, really important once every quarter to call our clients and talk to them about what the stats are in their house and about who sold the home around them. So I always have the MLS right in front of me when I'm calling them and I just say, hey, I'm just calling in to check in with you. I just wanted to, you know, congratulations you on your first six months in your house. This is how much equity you've already made on your house. These are the homes that sold around you. Um, I always like to post in social media the Keeping Current Matters articles. They're awesome because a lot of times people are watching national news and that has nothing to do with Utah news. Okay, so we want to make sure that we are always po posting positive information, positive numbers, positive, positive stuff about what's going on. I will offer a real market analysis on their home, okay, and I will offer to hook them up with a loan officer. Because if they are been in their home for two or three years and they have a ton of little kids and they have a lot of credit card debt, maybe they want to get an Equiline. Maybe they want to refinance their home. Maybe their interest rate when I closed on them is higher than what the current interest rate is. I always call my friends at Fairway and talk to them to find out what's going on with loans, with interest rates and all of that to see if they can help my, my client refinance or my client get an Equiline or my client... Um, do something different, pull some money out and buy an investment property, all sorts of things. And so talk to your loan officer about what's a good thing to talk to them about. You and your loan officer could Zoom call them together. That's another way to contact people. Okay, so those are ways. We're at 1220 now. I want to find out if anybody has any questions up until this point. Does anyone have any questions up until this point? Just hey, Kathy, I'm not... I'm not in your system, but you know how you said you could make those comments on your magazines? Do they does that go in the address label so they see every issue? They see that it does. It goes on the address level so they can see every issue. That's so awesome. For example, for next month, I could turn around and with you and Lillian Swallow and say, these are my loan officers that I'm using. Here's their phone numbers. Okay. And I could do that. If you have any questions about reducing your interest rate, call them. Isn't that, isn't that a cool idea? That's really cool. And we have those really cool scenarios that we can send out to people, even if they're thinking about pulling cash out or whatever it is to benefit you and them. So just let us know and we'll happy to, we're happy to run those. Definitely. So let's come up with something because I really feel like on my magazines, I, I don't want to just use like the seasonal little messages or always be asking for referrals. I always want to give a tidbit. So let's you and I get together and come up with a, a little easy thing that we could put on there for them to, to be able to see right away. Like, hey, because I, like I said, I'm sending out 75 magazines. That's 75 people that can see a, a message from Fairway and from me about what's going on. And I think with the COVID, some people might really need to refinance, pull some money because maybe they were out of their job for a little while and didn't get paid or unemployment wasn't what they thought it was, you know, so... Yeah. That's awesome. Take and if they could be right back to work because a lot of our people are back to work, right? right? Yeah, definitely. Any other questions at this point? So, so far, you guys, on our 27 contacts, we've had 12 with the magazine, four talking to them at least four times a year, preferably with a phone call, text, social media, but preferably with a phone call. So that's 16, and then two with the market information. So now we're up to 18. Any questions on those ones that we've had so far? 
So what do you do if you haven't talked to them before? Like how- You know what, Jessica, that is an excellent question. Sometimes we get so busy with our current business and we don't have the right systems in place to contact our past clients, it could go wrong. We could have missed their first anniversary for their home two months ago. We could have missed their birthday. Maybe we didn't get on social media enough and we didn't haven't talked to them or commented to them, or we've all we've done for the last two years is talk to them on social media that we've never really actually called them live. And so that's always embarrassing. <laughs> it really is. And so what I suggest that we do is this, take the bull by the horns, give them a call and say, Hey, this is Kathy with better homes and gardens, real estate. I know it's been three years since I sold you your home. And I haven't actually spoken to you in those three years because I, the market has been so busy and I've been swamped. And besides that, I am a neglectful person and I'm so sorry. Just take the bull right by the horns and say, I am so sorry, but I wanted to check in with your family. During COVID right now, I worry about all the people I know. And I know that it's spreading here in Utah now. So I just wanted to check in with you and see how's everybody doing around you. That is heartfelt and it is real and if you have a client that you can feel that you can speak with that way then that's great now just say it's a client like i have clients that i haven't really bonded with we we went through the transaction it went pretty smooth they were very happy with me at the end and it went really and they're great people but i just don't know what to say to them so i avoid calling them so i don't call them so this is what I would do then. I would pick up the phone and call them and say, hey, this is Kathy with Better Homes and Gardens. I know it's been so long since you bought your home or so long since you sold your house to me. So make sure you know the time frame. Or I know if it's my SOI and I haven't spoken to you in so long. So people I used to work with, people that used to be friends of mine, but I don't do stuff with them anymore. You know, different hobbies have changed. They've gotten busy, whatever. I will do it a lead in to what we used to do together. So like, I know you used to work with me at Better Homes and Gardens and you got out of the business. I'm just checking in on you to see how you're doing. Um, hey, I know that our kids used to go to school together or they used to play soccer together and we haven't seen each other since. I'm just checking in to see what you're doing. Whatever the common denominator was of why you know them, that's what I would open with. Because common, common, common is what we start with. So, hey, I know we both went through this horrible thing together when, you know, your husband lost his job and my husband lost his job too. Whatever it is, whatever the, whatever the common denominator is, is the script. So however you know them, I know you know my cousin Allie and we started to become friends, but we haven't talked to each other in a long time and I wanted to check in with you. I wanted to let you know I'm still a realtor and did you have any questions about what's going on in the real estate market? So you just kind of go in there and remember two ears, one mouth, because if they remember you, they're going to start talking to you. So when they start talking, comment on what they're talking about. And if they come up with something common, like in my case, I have two different nephews who have had COVID. If they say they had a nephew who had COVID, then we all start talking about nephews. So does that make sense? Jessica? Sorry. Yes, let me unmute myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? So does that give you some good ideas? Yeah. Good, good. I appreciate you, Jessica. Have a Jessica's getting licensed here shortly, you guys. So she's gonna be one of us. She's coming, coming to the good side. Yay! So 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 far then we're up to um 16, 17, 18. So number 19 is the property tax letter. And the property tax letter is for everyone that owns a property. Even if you didn't sell them the property, it can be the property tax letter that you send out to them. And you say, dear so-and-so, dear aunt and uncle so-and-so, I know I didn't sell you your house, but I just wanted to send you a little letter to tell you that you can actually reduce your property taxes, even in today's hot market. Because property taxes have been reassessed by a lot of counties, and maybe your property tax went up way more than you can afford, or maybe you're now semi-retired, or maybe someone in your home is disabled and we can get your property taxes reduced. And so I just send out like a one paragraph letter to them. And then I follow up within the next week or two. Okay. And you can send the property tax letter out from the very beginning or the very end of the year from just say October all the way through till January, because sometimes people have not paid their taxes and they have not paid their previous year's taxes 
or they want to they want to they want to um, dispute their taxes and there's only a small small time frame to do that by the way but property taxes is something that's always a good conversation to have with anybody so now we're at what 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so on to number 20 and 21 okay um, and we're at 12 27 so we're kind of we're gonna try we're gonna get you guys out of here early okay birthdays and home anniversaries birthdays minimum send them a birthday card you can find out their birthdays by asking them the month and the year right at closing that's a really good idea to do it or by calling them and asking them or by watching on social media when it is or by looking at their social media page what their birthday is or by talking to their loan officer or by which is always call fairway always always call fairway or calling them it's always nice if you can drop off a card or a little small gift, even just like a $5 Starbucks card, you guys, that's gonna get you so far because people love to have their birthday remembered. And we all do. Every single one of us loves our birthday to be remembered. My birthday was very historic this year and I got lots and lots of gifts. Some of them from Fairway Mortgage, my favorite people at Fairway dropped off stuff and came and see me. I have the coolest beach towel that I use all the time at Pine View right now, by the way. So anyway, anniversaries. Um, if you keep in contact on their one month, one year anniversary of buying their home or their wedding anniversaries, if you went to their wedding or whatever, anniversaries are really important to people. Um, you will know when they are getting ready to move or their home, their home anniversary is the most important one, you guys. As realtors, when we sell a house or as loan officers, when we close on a loan, it is very, very important to keep that anniversary because one month one year two years okay here in utah at two years they definitely have some equity at two years they may be ready to pull some of that equity and use it to buy the second thing okay so that's important they may be wanting to use it to invest or they may want to refinance because at two years the interest rates could have fluctuated enough and you can be talking to them about that and introducing them to a loan officer and for the loan officers you need to help the realtor that helped you buy that and remind them when their home anniversary is too okay um if they hit three years in the same house, four years in the same house, now they may have more children or they may be getting divorced or they may be getting married. Some big life events happen every two to five years for people. So know exactly what anniversary they're on, when they bought their home and if they're getting ready to move, okay? Um, if they bought their home a long time ago, now might be the time for them to sell their home and buy two homes. If they are financially stable, now might be the time for them to do that. Okay, and if they're not financially stable, maybe they should sell their home right now and buy a smaller home if they're still working and they want to have less of an output. Maybe something has changed, you never know. So, so that's another two ways to reach them is their birthday and their anniversary, okay? The next one that I absolutely love is um, client events, okay? Client events and event everyone. So we are all thinking because of COVID and we can't have large gatherings like the Raptors. We've had a thousand people at our Raptors games at times, you guys. Pool parties and pool barbecues, the Santa. We're gonna try to figure out a way to do Santa this year, by the way. The scavenger hunts, the volunteer events. We're social distancing, we're brainstorming. Um, I really, really, really believe having some sort of client event, even if the event is Hey guys, I am going to go ahead and, and go to a really cool restaurant this week and take a picture of really good food. And I want you to do the same. And then we're going to highlight our local businesses. And the person who does the most social media posts with their name, my name, and where they went to eat at, they are going to get entered into a contest and then they can win. And then that's a client event, right? Then they, they're going to win dinner at their favorite restaurant or dinner at my favorite restaurant or dinner at both. We've got to start thinking of ways. I think we could do the Santa thing by making sure Santa has a clean bill of health, first of all, and Santa is wearing a really cool red mask and that we have hourly appointments to get pictures with or quarter hourly appointments to get pictures with Santa. And then you can take your little lunch or your little breakfast um, and, and go and we could give out really cool Santa masks and all that. So I'm going to try to work on Santa this year. Um, scavenger huts is another great way to social distance. Volunteer events. Today, the Board of Realtors is doing a volunteer event where you go clean up a park, take pictures of yourself, put it on social media. You pay a fee to, to do the volunteer event, and then that money's going to go to charity. 
So anybody got any other good ideas for client events as, as you're on the phone right now or on the Zoom call? Or any questions about client events? Kathy, we just had a meeting today and we were talking about doing something with um, the animals at the animal shelters. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. And so you could do some sort of thing like, hey, we want this many volunteers over the next two weeks to call the animal shelter and go and volunteer or bring something to the animal shelter, take pictures and post it on our Facebook page, blah, blah, like that kind of thing. Yeah, that would be awesome. I love the Facebook sharing. I do. Facebook and Instagram, Pinterest, all sorts of ideas because we're all trying to think of ways to connect with each other right now. And this is another way to volunteer together. Even though we're doing it separately, we're still volunteering and focusing on the same event. I have a foster dog, by the way, you guys. I, it cost me a fortune because you have to donate a lot of money to the fostering program so they can keep it going. But it was, it was totally worth it. He's the best little dog in the world. Let me show you guys some pop by ideas. That's, that's the next one I've got on my, it's, uh, we're, we're on the last three right now. So here's a good one right now. Because of nurses like you, patients are in good hands. You're appreciated. National Nurses Week. That was back in May. But right now we could do pop buys that involve a little hand sanitizer that because things are getting more available again, that maybe involve a little hand sanitizer and a mask. Who knows? We can do all sorts of pop buys. I've gotten them from, from Fairway Mortgage before and I've gotten them from all sorts of people. Also, we can focus on our healthcare workers out there right now and drop by and see them. They actually, they are our most stable employees right now. Although some of them are having some difficulty getting all the hours in because elective surgeries and things like that. So it's a good idea to call them, text them, stop on and see them. Maybe we don't bring them hand sanitizer, but maybe we just bring them like a little thank you treat or something like that. Um, and since it's been so hot, there's all sorts of things you can do with the stay cool pop by. The little cheap sunglasses, the little tiny small um, uh, uh, skincare uh, suntan lotion, all sorts of stuff that you can drop by to our clients, to to people we know, to friends, all sorts of stuff, because this is a really hot real estate market. And I wanna tell you guys, I am still getting people saying to me, the market's going to crash. And we need to make sure we can let them know it's not going to crash and show them the statistics for it. So a little pop by of stay cool in this really hot real estate market might get you a phone call, might get you a hello. Um, I usually focus when I do pop buys on doing 20 at a time. And so, because 20 takes me pretty much a whole day. So um, I'll do 20 at a time, unless I'm gonna do it in a neighborhood that I'm farming, and then I might do 50. And I think the average pop buy needs to cost less than a couple of bucks, because otherwise it's gonna get too, too expensive for you. If you have really your favorite clients, maybe it can cost up to five bucks. And then maybe you gotta drive further to drop it off to your favorite past clients. This is what gets referrals. I recently just gave Lillian over at Fairway two more referrals and they were referrals to me. And they came from people who know me and that I've popped by and dropped off stuff to their friends and then their friends, um, I always include a, a stack of cards. So next thing I wanted to talk about is gratitude, okay? Um, I really believe that if we have a huge attitude of gratitude, 27 contacts is pretty easy to make. If we're super grateful to those around us who do things for us, um, grateful to the child care person, grateful to our in-laws, grateful to whoever does whatever for you, or grateful for them just being a friend. Um, it's really important to have that great gratitude attitude. And um, it's grateful to have that at Thanksgiving time, the thanking time. And so Thanksgiving and Christmas are huge for me because I think people have a little bit more time. And I think as as realtors, we start slowing down on November and December. And I'm going to tell you, if you look at your chart of how many transactions you've done, look at Thanksgivings and Christmas times. If you have had super slow Thanksgivings and super slow Christmases, start preparing right now to do some pop buys and to do some contacts and to do some gratitude work. Okay. So gratitude is the secret to having it all is knowing you already do. Okay. And we do, as realtors and people in this business, we are so blessed to be able to work with people in the most important thing that they do in their lives, the most important financial transaction and also personal transaction. Their home is very, very important. And at the holiday time, it's even the more important. So think about things you can do right now as far as contacting 
I'm popping by in November and December. This year is going to be a little weird for people because I think some people will have some economic issues and some people will also feel guilty for being so lucky. Sometimes I do. I said that to my husband the other day. I said, I know so many people out of work right now. It's just crazy. I just know a lot of people in the service industry, in the retail industry, and in the restaurant industry, and they're having difficult times. And so we need to contact them. We need to make sure that they're okay. And we need to be very, very grateful. So this year, in an all around proposal of gratitude, we are an authentic company. And so we wanna show our gratitude. And we can show our gratitude right now, and we can show it at Thanksgiving, and we can show it at Christmas time. Pop pies at Christmas time are the coolest ones. Um, I used to home make bread, right? And then I started having a little bakery here in, in town, um, that, that in downtown Ogden that does bread, and I started delivering rounds. And then I got to the point where I was delivering 200 little round pieces of bread every year, and it was getting too much and too busy, and, there, and then there'd be blizzards and things like that. I really believe having a nice little Christmas calendar that you drop off or a Christmas card that you mail or a little pop by at Christmas time, food item, some candy, whatever, is huge. People do not forget when you grace their home at Christmas. All right. And my, uh, I love this quote by Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People for, will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I think that when you're contacting them, even if you make them feel like they can vent because they're stressed out about economics or they're frightened of this COVID thing or that they just want to talk and they don't wear a mask, don't get too political. Um, anyway, needless to say, people know if you care. And so with the 27 contacts, my thing to you is just do it. Take my 27 contacts list and if you want a copy of it, email me at Kathy dot betterhomes at gmail.com and I'll send you the 27 contacts. Take it and pick at least three of those things you're going to start doing immediately. Three of them. So if you're going to send the Better Homes and Gardens immediate, magazine immediately and you're going to go ahead and call 20 people in the next three days immediately and then you're going to go ahead and make sure you start preparing your, your list for Thanksgiving and Christmas cards, do it immediately. Just do it like Nike says. Learn as you do, you'll figure out what works and what doesn't work. We will call them and sometimes fumble over our words. People are kind. Remember, people are kind. They're okay if you haven't contacted them lately. They'll be kind to you anyway. Make changes and adjustments along the way. Only put in place what you're gonna do. That's my big one. So for me, when we join Better Homes and Gardens, I know I'm gonna do the magazine. So I do it, do it, do it, do it. And education will help you come up with ideas. Practice will help you get better at it. Persistence will get you referrals. Persistence in a kind, loving way. Call me to practice and I'm happy to practice with the scripts with you guys, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop my share. We have a couple more minutes. We're trying to do our lunch and learns instead of an hour. We're trying to keep them down to like 45 minutes or so. I know there's a few people who've joined us. So give me some ideas, guys. What are you guys thinking about the 27 contacts? Does anybody have any questions or comments? I'm just gonna give you guys a minute to see. Any, any ideas that I gave you that you liked or, or you have more questions about those ideas? So just to, go ahead, Jen. Sorry, I thought that was awesome. And I, we, we, make, we have goals to call different set of, I don't wanna say, like categorized, people every single day and consistency is huge. The people that I see that are consistent at it are very successful. So I love it and they've got a lot of really good ideas. I want to talk to you more about the social media, how to do all of that to get people involved in that so that they'll post great ideas. Great ideas. Thanks, Jen. I like the category idea, by the way. I putting people into categories like Okay, so these are all my family I'm going to call in the next three days. Okay, these are all people that I used to work with. Okay, these are all people that live in my neighborhood or, or whatever the way the categories are. That's a great idea. It's a good idea. Anybody else got any questions or ideas? I really appreciate um, these lunch and learns. We're trying to record them in order to maybe be able to post 
you know, people can watch them again and again and come up with ideas. So if you need the 27 contact list right now, email me. If not, watch this recording will be posted on all things Better Homes and Gardens. And um, I, I really appreciate you guys. And I'm going to just let you know, the reason I have been able to be in business this long, almost 30 years, and only prospect probably twice a week, and I'm, I'm terrible at doing it consistently, is because of making sure contacts, contacts. The two things I mostly do are the Better Homes and Gardens magazines. I call every one of my clients, past clients, four times a year, and then the calendar and the Christmas card. Those are the four things I do consistently. But the other ones, the market updates, the property tax stuff, the client events, all of that works. All of it works. So pick a few of these things and do it. Do it consistently. And with that, have a better day at Better Homes and Gardens. And thank you so much to Fairway Mortgage and all the support they give us. Sounds drive.